Hi guys, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be unboxing the July Fairy Loot box. So I'm quite excited for this month's box, first of all because I got a bit muddled up last month, um, thinking I was going to get some items from, um, from Blood and Ash in this box, and I think it's actually in this one. Um, but also in this box I think we get an item that Fairy Loot haven't done before which I was also expecting last month because I got the two confused, so that's the first reason. And secondly, just because it's been sitting around a bit longer than normal. Um, I haven't had the chance to film because um, I've been busy with friends and stuff, which was really nice, but I've been super eager to open this up, so let's not wait any longer. So first off, the, uh, we've got new packaging. I don't know if this is gonna be a regular thing. I assume it will be. Um, with the black on, um, well black on brown cardboard instead of the white on black which I definitely prefer the old boxes um, but if they've done this one to like save on ink and stuff then completely understandable um, if it's going to save on resources I just think the other ones looked a bit sleeker but yeah we've got all the designs that they used to include on the um, outside of the box um, just to give it a bit of extra decoration so that's nice but anyway, I'm super excited to see what's inside, so I'm going to take a look now. Okay, so this month's theme is Trials and retri Retribution. Uh, here's the spoiler card um, with the artwork on. Uh, so we've got some kind of magical maze thing going on there, so that's awesome. I will look at this if I need to know what um, items are from and stuff. Um, but yeah, so first off, we've got a fabric item. And it is a pin flag, which is handy. I do collect pin badges and the one that I'm working on is only half full at the moment, um, but I am going to need a new one. And based on the design, this might be the fr From Blood in Ash item. I will take a look. No, this is from A Dance of Thieves by Mary e. e. Pearson, which I have never heard of, but it is a beautiful, beautiful design and I can't wait to fill up... Um, this area with my pin badges. So next we've actually got a pair of socks, um, some lovely ankle socks here. Um, I do have quite a few of these from Fairy Loot now and I've worn a couple of them, they are super super comfy. Um, and all the designs have been really gorgeous. Ooh, I think these are actually inspired by the Lock Tomb trilogy, so Gideon the Ninth and stuff. And that's the design on them there. They are gorgeous. Yeah, these are definitely from Gideon the Ninth. So I can't wait to wear those, especially as we get into autumn. They're kind of spooky as well. So I could wear those around Halloween. That'd be nice and keep my feet nice and cosy then. Oh, we have a leather item. This must be the new thing. Oh, I think I saw a loom not a Lumine, a Luma crate doing um, this. I think this is a photo album. I will take a look in a second, but it says a little adventure on the front. And this is black, well, pleather, I guess, like the fake leather with gold foiling on the spine and on the front there. So that's awesome. And yeah, it is just a um, photo album that you can put photos in, but I'm probably gonna use this one to put all of my um, fan art and tarot cards and stuff that I got from Fairy Loot because at the moment they're just stashed away in one of their um, secret um, book boxes that they did but I can't really um, go through them easily I have to pull them all out and sort through them whereas this one if they're all stashed in here I can flick through them easily if I wanted to take a look um, so yeah that's really really handy um, I'm gonna put all of my tarot cards and stuff in here um, is it is it inspired by anything? No, nope. so this one isn't inspired by any particular book. Um, it's just a nice little item that is quite handy. So next, I've got a little velvet pouch here. What does it say? And we have a letter opener. So this might be one of the collectible daggers. Yes, it is. This one is really, really strange. So you've got like... Not webs, almost like stained glass type pattern on the blade. Um, and then yeah, a really weird handle actually. It's got like this extra chunky bit around the side and then some 
um, gems and it is the same on the other side as well. Um, so this one is a Lila letter opener. I have no idea what this is from. Oh! It's, it's from Lila, Lila Bard, I think, from A Darker Shade of Magic by V. Schwab, which I have read the first two books in that trilogy and really enjoyed them so far. And she definitely stands out as one of the best characters in that series. I just didn't um, get that from here. But yeah, I see it now. Like the colours of, of the gems are for the different Londons. So red, white, grey and black. But yeah, that's a really, really weird dagger. Um, but yeah, I can display that with my um, books that I've got for the series. So kind of nice. It's probably their worst one they've done, in my opinion. I've got... Um, uh, Selena's sword from Throne of Glass, that one was really nice, and I think I've got the other one from the new Caraval series, I've forgotten its name, but yeah those ones are definitely better, but um, this is quite nice. Next is a, another pouch in here, the Fairy Duke logo there, and it says Metal Straws, so let's take a look. Oh these are really fancy, um, okay so we've got three different size um, straws plus um, a cleaning tool for them. Um, so we've got a chunky one. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera but there are two different shades of gold. Um, this bit is plain and then as we get onto the bottom it's got, um, it's really not picking it up on camera too well, um, but like the Greek patterns running up and down that you often see on pottery and stuff so that's really 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 pretty. Um, need to remember I have these. I've got another set from Fairy Loop and I've never used them because they sit in my drawer but now I should probably dig them out um, and use them. And those were inspired by Law? Yeah, inspired by Law. No, I don't actually think they are. That's weird. The tag says design like Law Metal Bookmarks which there's a book that they included, I've forgotten the author, about Greek mythology and stuff, but on the spoiler card it just says um, Greek Greek pattern metal straws. So yeah, there's nothing on here that like links it to the book, so yeah, it could be used for anything. But yeah, in terms of lore, I have read it and it was okay. I think I gave it three stars. I probably wouldn't reread it. Um, I thought it was just pretty okay, but that's a nice neutral item again, I guess. And now I think we're just on to the book pouch. I oh, know the tarot cards were hiding from underneath. So here we've got the hermit and here we've got the card for strength there. Okay yeah and these are inspired by characters from Blood Skyon or Scion by Deborah Fillet which I still haven't read. It was included in a fairy loop box this year. But yeah, those are pretty cool. And now we're onto the book. Okay, so I can see blue, which is good. Blue is my favourite colour. Um, but we are going to grab out the bookmark and stuff first. Yep, so first we've just got the little bookmark, which has the same art as the spoiler card. That's really nice. I like keeping that in the book I get for the month and just using it for the book. Um, wow, we've got this really pretty art piece again. The last two boxes have had really, really nice pieces of art in them. Really impressed with that. And yeah, just the little author letter on the back there. And now on to the book. Oh, this is really, really, really pretty. <laughs> yeah, I really like the colours on that one. So we have the Darkening by Sonia, Ma Son Sonia Mara. I want to say that's how it's pronounced and yeah we've got this gorgeous two-tone blue on the front I don't even think that's black I think that's a really really deep blue light blue and then the gold foiling on the front I really really like this cover but yeah that's really 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 pretty um and we've got stenciled edges which I think are feathers yeah I think they're feathers um just the black on the blue and then at both ends are just plain blue and then underneath the dust jacket we have a more simple design based on some of their previous boxes uh, but, but we've got some nice foil in there with some 
symbols and stuff in like the moon uh probably related to the book and yeah just a um just a title on the spine there and then have some gorgeous gorgeous m papers on the front and on the back yeah on the back we have a different design as well so that's really really nice i love the colors on this book this is so pretty and i really hope i enjoy it i have no idea what it's about though i don't even think i've heard many things about this book i don't even recognize the author or anything so i wonder if it's a debut no idea but yeah let's find out uh what this month's book is about prince dowser was born for one purpose to protect his home from the storm a deadly force that surrounds his city and curses everyone it touches. Vespa Vale is the daughter of failed revolutionaries. Since the Queen sentenced her mother to death by the storm, she and her father have been on the run. So when the Queen's soldiers, led by Prince Dalka, catch up to Vespa's father, she will do whatever it takes to save him from sharing her mother's cruel fate. Even arm herself with her father's book of dangerous er experimental magic even infiltrate the prince's elite squad of soldier sorcerers, even cheat her way into his cold heart. But when Vesper learns that there's more to the story of her mother's death and her, and her, that her home is in dire peril, she has little choice but to trust the devious prince with her family's secrets or follow her mother's footsteps into the storm. So that sounds really, really good, actually. And now I can see why there's like lightning and blue on this and stuff. It's linked to a storm, which is great and awesome. And sounds like we've got enemies to lovers here again, which is one of my favourite tropes. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to get to this one. Yes, overall, I thought this is, this is a pretty good, a pretty good box. Um, useful items pin flag and the photo album really really handy to like store other little collectibles that i have those are great the socks i love giddy in the night so i'm glad to have a piece of merch based on the books and the socks are always handy i'm always going to use them i think the straws and the dagger are probably my least favorite items just because with the dagger they've done better ones in my opinion i've definitely preferred the other ones and the straws, I haven't even touched the last set of straws I got from Fairy Loot, so I just need to remember to use them. But otherwise, overall, I think it's quite a strong box for this month, and I'm super excited to read the book. So yeah, those were all the items in this month's Fairy Loot box. Let me know down below if you've heard anything about the book, or what your favourite item was from this box. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Bye!